Let's take a look at Ubuntu. This is a real good program. It's uh, very good for command line and it really supplements the Kali suite of tools as well. I'm running Ubuntu in a virtual box which I highly recommend as your first learning how to do network penetration testing and things like that and you set up your lab it's always good to work in a virtual environment so that you don't hurt your physical computer and components or your network so Let's get started. In Ubuntu, we'll uh, just open up a command line. And we'll start with just a couple of simple commands that you can use. The first is a directory listing of where you're at. You just type in ls and enter. It's going to give you the names of the directories and files so you can see desktop, downloads, music, etc. Now you can also use some tags with ls so you can do ls dash a and that's going to show you everything in that file including hidden files as well. Clear is what you'll use to clear the screen and if we go back to ls tac a and then L again you'll get a formatted output of your hidden files so what we just saw we get more information and we can see that these files that begin with a D are directory files the dash are just files themselves and they are in alphabetical order as well. Now if I want to get that clear back into the command line I can type it or I can hit the up arrow key and the up arrow key just cycles through the last commands that you've had. So this is the command that we used just now. I'll go back to clear and hit return. Now in the directories themselves you want to be able to find out where you're at what current directory you're in and Ubuntu and Kali both use a pwd command and and that's print working directory so if we do a pwd enter we'll see that I am at home and actually in WA now again if I want to see what is around me maybe the files and directories below me I can go back into just the simple ls and so if I want to go into my desktop from here it's a simple change of command or change of directory and the command for that is cd so from where I'm at I can change directory into my desktop and you'll notice that it changes into desktop here. 
Now if I go back to my print working directory that we used, I see that I've moved from home to WA. Now I am in desktop. And if I want to see what is on the desktop, I can go back to the ls command. And you'll see that there is nothing there. And that pretty much corresponds with what I have here. No files. Now if I want to create a file, let's say I want to create a directory, then all I have to do is just make a directory and name it. In Ubuntu, as with Kali, your location or your print working directory location is where it's going to render the file that you're wanting to create. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and I'll make a directory and I'm going to call that directory test and hit enter. So you notice when I did that, I had a folder called test that came up here. That should make a little more sense seeing this visually. Now I know that test is a directory, right? I know I'm in the desktop. And now if I look at the files, I see that test is actually on my desktop. Since it is a directory, I can change directory into the test file. Now, when I print working directory, I see that I've moved from the desktop into the test directory folder. Now, if I want to see what is there, I go back to an ls and obviously there's nothing in that folder. And I can confirm that just by opening the folder. If I want to create a file, let's say just a text file, and I'm already inside the test folder, I'll open this up and just move it down a little bit where we can see. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen to move everything back up. And I'll pull up the LS again just so we can see that there is nothing there. And let's create a text file. So in Ubuntu, the command is a little bit different for a file than it is for a directory. So what we want to do is we want to touch the file and we want to name the file whatever we want and we will apply an extension so that it will open with whatever application that we have. In this case, let's just call it uh, warn dot text. It's just going to be a text file. And we'll go ahead and hit return. Now if you notice here, home desktop test, and here is warn text right here. If I take a look in the folder that I'm in to see what's around, I see that now there is a document called warn.txt. Now that's pretty simple, right? We'll go back to the uh, print working directory and we see that we're still in here. Now I'm doing these over and over again because repetition is the best way to learn these commands. I could give them to you one time, but if you use these over and over again, you're going to get used to moving around in the system a little bit better.